Welcome to a new Fresco video. We are talking today about how to extend the Alfresco digital workspace. So this is the UI application for the Alfresco enterprise. Uh, remember that we have also the ACA, the Alfresco content application for the community enterprise, but we are focusing today on the uh, enterprise version of the UI uh, based in Angular. Um, if we review all the different options we have in order to extend the Alfresco repository with a UI application, we have this ADF, this Alfresco development frameworks, that is a set of Angular components that you can reuse in your custom applications, or you can use the Alfresco applications, the Alfresco content application, that is the one for the community users, and also the Alfresco digital workspace, that is the application for the enterprise version and that is relying on ACA and also on ADF, but including additional features. Also remember that if you want uh, to use React or some other uh, UI framework, you still can be, uh, can be doing that because Alfresco is providing you the REST API and also the Events API in order uh, to get your application done. So the first thing we need to do is to obtain the uh, source code for the Alfresco digital workspace. Remember that since this is an enterprise product, you need credentials in order to download this artifact. The Nexus repository, uh, that is the, the one uh, and that is including all the uh, different artifacts and source code from Alfresco, uh, I'm logged in with the credentials. Remember to uh, uh, to contact with support if you don't have uh, this kind of credentials. So you have all the different uh, artifacts and also the source code. So we are going to download the source code of the application with the latest version 2.8.0. Okay, we are downloading that now. And we just need to uh, unzip that on uh, our local machine. So let's create this Alfresco Digital uh, Workspace folder and unzip the Alfresco Digital Workspace source code that we already download from the Nexus repository manager. So once we have that, we are going to verify some dependencies. You can use the latest Node.js version, the latest uh, with long-term support version, that in this case is Node 16 and also NPN. So I'm going to check that. I have the latest one and also uh, the latest uh, the version according with the NPM. Okay, so once we have that, we need to create some uh, environment variables in this specific file, this .m file. So we are including that, the ACA, the ACA branch, as we said before, that ADW is relying on ACA. So we need to declare what ACA branch we want to use. Also, we are using a uh, local host. In this case, we are using only the ECM, the ACS stack for the repository. So we are including uh, the um, URL for these resources. We are going to use ECM for the authentication with basic. And you have also to specify if you want to uh, upload some additional uh, plugins in the application. So once we have that, uh, uh, we need to uh, create. Um, we need to create a, a running uh, Alfresco repository. So I'm going to use the Alfresco token installer application for that. It's just to have this local host at port 8080 running, so we can test locally the ADW uh, application. So with that, we can start this so the uh we are going to uh we are starting the alfresco repository so we have that local host 8080 with the alfresco repository running as we said we need some uh environment variables and uh, you need to use the aca branch uh 
that is matching with the ADW version. So you have a list with all the different uh, matchings for the ADW version and the ACA version. So in this case, since we are using uh, ADW280, uh, we are using 210.0 for the ACA. This is a minimal configuration, but you have also more different environment variables if you want to explore that. So the next thing is to build all the dependencies. So for that, we are going to run this npm ci option and the uh, node modules and all the uh, required stuff will be installed in our computer. Once everything is installed, you may be getting uh, this error that is not relevant <clears throat> at this stage. Uh, we can just start one of the applications that is include with this uh, source code that is the content CE, that is the ACA application, content E, that is the ADW application, and we have also the API application. So in this case, we want to start the content E application. While this is starting and it will uh, run uh, the application in the default port 4200, we may check that uh, the uh, repository, the Alfresco repository, is running in the expected uh, port. So let's check that. Okay, so Alfresco is running. Alfresco repository is running, and we are waiting for the ADW application to start. Okay, so the application is ready now. And we are going to check if that is working as expected. So if we can uh, connect with the repository with that localhost 8080 in order to verify that it has been deployed as expected. So we have the login page. And if we include the right credentials, then the application is up and ready and working. So with that, we were able to deploy uh, the ADW application from source code in order to start developing uh, some extension to the application. That is the next thing we are going to do. So we are going to uh, make a simple uh, extension to the application. You can find all the instructions also at this point. So we are going to extend the application by creating a simple Angular uh, library for that. And remember that ADW is using the NX framework. So it should be uh, recommended to install this NX framework locally in your computer so it can be easier for you just to create the extensions. So uh, in this case, we are going to create a, an Angular library and name my extension. So just uh, include this command, and this command will be creating all the required files uh, for it. You can now uh, switch to your development environment, to your IDE, in order to make some modifications in default source code. So uh, let's open the project. And it will include the new uh, library. So let's go for it. So that is including uh, the source code for the ADW library, but also on the lips folder, we are going to have the my extension Angular library. The extension mechanisms is similar. Uh, in fact, it's the same that we are using for the ACA application. And the first thing we need to do is to import this extension mechanisms into our new uh, Angular library. So in, in the my extension module, we uh, can find that. We are going to add the uh, extension from uh, ADF. And also, we are going to add this as a new provider. So with that, we have declared this Angular library as an extension. And then we need to create a folder 
with the uh, extension we want to create. In this case, we are using the feature to create uh, the extension. It's just a new options on the create button, but you have additional information on how to extend uh, the Alfresco content application with the ADF extensibility mechanisms in this web page. So as I said, we are going to create this uh, content on the assets my extension uh, JSON file. So we need to create a new folder assets with a new file. So we need to create the asset with my extension dot JSON file. So let's create the file my extension dot JSON file. And we are including the specific syntax for the extensions of ABW. Okay, so with that, we have prepared uh, that Angular module. And the next thing we need is to add this uh, library, uh, this component to the ADW application. As we said before, this application is the content EE. So we are uh, uh, modifying this file. So let's go back again to the application, to the content E application. And then uh, on the source code of the application, we can find the extensions module. So we are adding the module we already created, and we are also importing this uh, module. With that, we have the module being part of the application. And the last thing we need to do is to add the extension assets, that file where we were declaring the extension we want to create in the application in the Angular JSON file. So if we find the uh, Angular JSON, then we need to find the content E application. And from that, on the assets, we can uh, add the one we already created for the extension. So yes. Uh, with this one. And now we are ready again to uh, start our application uh, to see if we uh, can, uh, if the new changes are now part of this application. So let's wait for it to start. And then we are expecting to see a new option on the create button. Now that uh, the application has started successfully, we can go back to the browser and uh, just wait a few uh, to have all the resources loaded. And on the new button, on the creation button, we can see our message. So the station was deployed successfully uh, to the ADW application. So uh, that was all for today. We learned how to uh, use the ADW application the UI application for the enterprise version of the Alfresco stack uh, from source code uh, to deploy that locally in order to create your development environment. And we also were developing a simple uh, extension to the ADW using the ADF extension mechanisms that we also uh, been used in the ACA application in order to start uh, working with this new UI. I hope that was useful. See you uh, on next videos and bye.